Hello everyone. This time around, I'm going to try to make an SVG piano keyboard that is rendered by JavaScript and uh, that is interactive at the same time. So what I mean when I say interactive is that we can pass a range of notes. So we are going to get the piano keyboard uh, from that this note to, to that note. It's going to span over uh, uh, a range of notes. And also, we're going to be able to display notes on the keyboard so we can visualize uh, the different notes, different chords, different scales that we can use in our, in our music applications. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this piano goes from A0 to uh, C7, which is the same as a standard 88 note piano. Um, but uh, if we want to change that range, we can do that. We can, uh, let me go to the code here, and then all the way at the top here, let's say that we want to start it from the A in the second um, octave, and we only want to go to the fifth octave here. Let me try to save this and go back, and you can see it looks totally different. Now we have from A2 to C5, and as you probably also noticed, it's, uh, it's showing the names of the notes here. We have an A sharp and a B flat, so it's showing both of the, both of the names that uh, the black keys can have. Also, yeah, let's try something else. You can start on any key. As long as it's a white key, it starts on and ends on a white key. So let's try another one. Let's try, just start it on D2, and let's go all the way to, let's say, an F6. I'm gonna save that, and you can go back, and you can see that's exactly what, what's happening here. It starts on the D2, and everything is taken care of. Uh, another thing we're going to be able to do is actually show notes or display notes we're going to be able to highlight some of the keys on the keyboard so we can visualize uh, musical stuff in our musical applications so a way to do that is i have it on an app instance here and i can go ahead and i can say display notes then i can say what do i want to display here of course it has to be within the range and what i pass here is an array of strings and the first string here let's say i want g2 and the next one, let's say I want that to be a C3. And then maybe we want to have a F3. That's an F2. And then let's let's take a G sharp, G sharp three. Something like that. Just to visualize G sharp three in the third octave here. Let me hit enter and then you can see they light up in an ugly yellow color here um, so that's a way you can do that and we can go ahead we can do the same thing here then we can add another note or we can change the last one here let's just for good fun let's just try d4 and it's gonna show that instead so that's what we're gonna build here today and um, and I wanna be honest in this um, in this tutorial because Many times when you see a tutorial on YouTube or anywhere else, usually the person who made the tutorial, they went through some troubles making the app that they want to show other people how to make. And uh, usually when you see a tutorial, that's at least how I feel myself. I feel like that the person who's making the tutorial, who's teaching me, that they know so much and they didn't go through any trouble at all when they uh, when they started making this. You know, it, it, it looks like... They just came up with everything on the fly. And of course, I know that's probably not the case. Um, at least for me, I usually struggle a lot with coming up with, with different things. And then I take the final product after I've been working on it for some time. And I know that this is pretty good and this is ready to uh, ready for making a tutorial about it. Um, then I start doing it. But that can give that's kind of a can give like a misconception of that I'm just doing it on the fly. So in this tutorial, I'm actually going to um, I'm actually going to show you the struggles that I had. Like I'm going to talk about the, the the way that I visualized it first and the way that I started to make this thing. And at some point, actually, I had to change my whole idea about it because it just didn't work out. Maybe I could continue on this road and. Um, and and succeed in doing it but then i found out there's probably a much better and easier way of of doing this whole thing so i'm gonna take you or at least i'm gonna try to take you through that whole process and i think there's there's a lot of learning in that because uh first of all you know that i i'm not just coming up with this on the fly and make something that just works uh you will learn that it's 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 okay to um 
to struggle along the way and it's okay to actually trash a lot of the stuff that you wrote and, and almost start over. So this might be a pretty long tutorial and it might seem a little bit boring, but I think you'll get something out of it. And of course, you're welcome to skip uh, the videos. If you just want to see how the final version works, then uh, go ahead. And also, if you just want to use it for something on your own, you can find a link uh, to the GitHub in the description below. So um, let's set up this project. I created a folder called Piano on my desktop. You can create it anywhere you want. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drop it on the Visual Studio Code icon here. And then it's going to open up this empty folder. I'm just going to close this welcome window. And then inside here, as always, we're going to need three files. We're going to need the index.html. Inside of this file, I'm just going to set up like a standard HTML5 uh, document. And I'm going to save that. We're also going to need a styles.css. So that's styles.css. So now we've got a new file for the styles. I'm not going to put anything in there just yet. And then I'm going to create our JavaScript, of course. And uh, oh, that wasn't correct new file. So that's kind of strange. Oh, here, app.js. Okay, so this is for our JavaScript. I'm going to close down this untitled that I made by mistake. So inside our um, index HTML, of course, as always, we're going to link to the style sheet. So that will be link and rel is going to be style sheet. And then of course, the URL for it. And that is going to be our styles.css. And that's great. And then down here, just before the closing body tag, we're going to take our script and we are going to link to that. So the source is going to be equal to our app.js like this. And then everything should hopefully work. Uh, I can open this up in a live server. If I right click on it, you have to have the live server extension installed. You can do that from from here. Um, you can just search for it and then you can install it. It's really nice. Then you can just right click on your index file and it will open up in a browser and it will update every single time you save. So open with live server. It's going to open up my Chrome and it's of course, it's totally empty. I'm just going to open up the console and um, let's go back to the code. And I'm just going to try to see if everything is hooked up. I'm just going to take the body and give it a background color of today. Let's give it a teal. That's my favorite color. Let's go back. We can see it already changed here. So that's hooked up already. And then inside our app.js, let's just console log SVG piano. I'm going to save that. And let's see right here, console log. So that means that our project is set up and ready to go. So now that it's all set up and ready to go, I'm going to delete this console log. And then in the next video, we are going to get started on building the SVG piano. I'm also going to delete this one. So we have a total clean slate to begin from. So join me in the next video and we'll get started. See ya.